Okay, this is just a quick tutorial just to talk about the five projects or Java projects that we've just installed into our Spring Tool Suite. The first three projects here aren't dependent on Spring because what we do is we set up an example and then we evolve that example using various design patterns which will be useful for us when we go into Spring because then we understand how Spring behaves and works. So let's open up pre-Spring Sample 1 and have a look at the code. We follow the Maven standard directory layout, so we have our source main Java, and within that we have our source code. And the package structure is com.denofprogramming. And we have a top level, which has a client.java file, which is really all it is, is a class with a main method, and that runs some code for us. The other significant package is com.denofprogramming service. And this contains a little bit more interesting code. We have a message printer service, which all it does has a print message method. And that just really calls system out and prints a message. And the message is obtained from a service. As you can see, that service is hardwired here. Now it's the same example of really just having a message printer service that's evolved through the three pre-spring samples and then later on is actually used in the spring sample to demonstrate how spring works and how we can configure spring. The rest of the code is basically an implementation of this service. We have a basic message of the day in pool which isn't particularly spectacular, it just has a get text message, and that text message is the simple hello world. The second implementation is a little bit more interesting. It's what I've called a dynamic message of the day. And all that does is basically it contains an array of strings for each day of the week, from Sunday through to Saturday, and the get message method. We then call up an instance of the calendar, or the Gregorian calendar, and from that we ask it, what day of the week it is, and then from that we derive the actual message from the array of strings, and then return it. So this dynamic message of the day in Palm and the basic message of the day don't actually print anything, it's their responsibility just to return us the message to be printed out by the message printer service. This isn't a particularly complicated example, but the idea is really just to give you an understanding of some of the design patterns that we're going to be using, and also how to set up Spring and use Spring, and also how Spring handles some of the design concepts we'll be talking about here. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. 